Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Techman Solutions here with a quick little live market update. So kind of change of plans. I thought that there was going to be a Fed meeting today because they said on their Fed, uh, the Reserve Board, um, that in between 3rd and 4th of May that we're going to have a meeting. It doesn't look like anything is actually going to happen today for the Fed. One thing that we did find out is that President Biden is going to be speaking today at 3 p.m. So just like I said, I was going to go live. I'm just going to go live for this as, uh, instead. Uh, what this breaks down to is this is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I'm not mistaken, that is 12 p.m. Arizona time. So again, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you get alerted when it is that I go live. Federal Reserve meeting that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, it starts at 2. Jerome Powell, which is again the head of the uh, Federal Reserve, speaks at 2.30 p.m. We're gonna have to live stream that, right? Well, again, that's up to you guys. I am going to be traveling tomorrow, so that's gonna be the only issue, uh, but I'm gonna definitely try my best to make sure that you guys are aware of that. There is no question that when they do have these meetings, they do influence the overall market. So please, please, please do yourself a favor, and if you don't feel comfortable being invested, then do something about it now. With that being said, I sent out an announcement with within our LPP group just a couple minutes ago, right? We were trading SQQQ during the pre-market session. I locked in profits right away, $744. Kept it light, kept it tight, locked it in, right? With that being said, on the five, it's hard to see on the one minute time frame, but on the five minute time frame, it's much easier to see. Do you guys see this moving average? It's acting as a resistance level. You guys can see that descending moving average every time that it would try to go up and get rejected, try to go up and get rejected, try to go up, gets rejected. Descending moving average intraday. Bearish SQQQ, bullish TQQQ. And guess what? We killed it. So again, one of the things, one of the questions that we get all the time is like, Ricky, do we need to be a part of Learn Plan Profit to learn how to trade? No, I mean, I one of my most popular videos on YouTube expresses that I learned how to trade on my own. It just took years and I lost a lot of money in the process. So do you need our team to learn how to trade? No, but would you be more plugged in and would you be more efficient as you're learning how to trade? Well, of course, right? It's like learning something with structure versus trying to learn something on your own. What's going to end up costing you either more time or more money? So, I mean, it's all up to you, right? If you like my live sessions, if you like being able to watch me trade live, if you think having access to me on a daily aspect and then having access to our Learn Plan Profit lesson library, then again, that's all that's included in LPP 2.0. So I'm very happy with how today has played out. I'm up, you know, the, the $700 here for uh, SQQQ. Very happy about that. But I'm up a little bit over $6,000 on TQQ. And being completely honest, I mean, we're just getting started. Um, TQQ has great upside, but it's not something that we can expect to recover right away. We have that strong resistance level right around $39, and we actually sent out an announcement. Although I'm deciding to hold TQQQ, one of the messages that I just sent out is encouraging all of our beginner traders that, hey, we're approaching a potential resistance level at $39. It might not be a bad time to lock in profits, right? They have so much time to scale and to get better and to trade with more money down the road. I want to make sure that the habits that they implement and put into work today are something that are of quality habits, sustainable habits. And the habit of locking in profits, in my opinion, is much better than the hope and the desire of, right, the fear of missing out. So you have to like pick your hurt. Would you rather be someone that experiences FOMO, maybe sells a little bit too early, or the pain of going from a green trade to a red trade, right? I'm always here to look out for our beginner traders, and I hope that you guys are aware of that. So again, uh, if you guys are ready to join our LPP team, you definitely don't have to, but again, if you want access to me, if you want access to my daily live trading sessions, and you want access to our overall learn plan profit team, that's going to be that second link down below and that's going to be $100 off the learn plan profit lesson library. It's all inclusive, one-time payment, lifetime access, and yes, you do also get access to the TechBuds Trading HQ. We just had an in-person session yesterday. We filmed it with some of our local traders and answered some of the questions. It was kind of like a Sunday stock talk, but in person and a little bit more personal, and we should be uploading that video later on on YouTube um, if we actually end up putting it all together. 
together. So I appreciate you guys' time. Hope that it earned a thumbs up. We'll see you guys for our live session in about one hour and a half, if I'm not mistaken. That's gonna be 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure, again, you destroy that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you for our live session. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.